You don't need a fancy gym membership to lose weight. On the contrary, one of the most powerful ways to slim down is free, walk. Walking for weight loss may even be more effective than running, according to a 2015 study. British researchers found that people who regularly took brisk walks weighed less than those devoted to other types of physical activity, including running, swimming, and cycling. Why walking is so good for you Walking literally transforms your body and mind. In fact, research shows it can add almost two years to your life. Of course, there's the major perk that sneaking in those steps helps you shed unwanted weight. But going for a walk can benefit your body in other significant ways too. Here's how. It guards your brain. Two hours of walking per week cuts your risk of stroke by 30%. Hitting the road also protects brain regions associated with planning and memory, and doing it for 20 minutes a day has even been found to reduce symptoms of depression. It strengthens your bones. Research also shows that about some form of physical activity every day, such as walking or bicycling, can lower the rate of hip fractures and fractures overall. In other words, the more you move now, the more mobile you'll be later in life. It improves your heart health. A study of more than 89,000 women found that those who walked briskly for 40 minutes two or three times per week had up to a 38% lower chance of heart failure after menopause than those who did it less often or more slowly. Researchers have also found that walking for just 20 minutes per day lowers your risk of heart disease by 30%, and it can also cut your risk of obesity, a major risk factor for heart disease, in half. Build strength and tone your whole body at home, try with Strong with Bettina Gozo. What to do before you start walking for weight loss Follow these tips from Scott Mullen, MD, an orthopedic surgeon at the University of Kansas Hospital Sports Medicine and Performance Center. 1. Check in with your doctor. If you haven't been exercising, running it by your primary care doctor is a good idea, just to make sure they don't have any concerns or think you need any testing ahead of time, says Dr. Mullen. Other red flags include chest pain, pain that shoots down your arm or up your neck, or severe headaches, he adds. If you develop any of these issues, stop your workout and check within with a professional. 2. Invest in a good pair of walking shoes. Look for a shoe store that does gait analyses to help you select the right pair for your specific foot type, Dr. Mullen says. Go a half size up from your regular work shoes, since feet tend to swell when you exercise. Check out our full list of the best walking shoes for women right now.